there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and also for NoStylus.com. And today what I'm going to do is to look at iBooks Author again and in particular look at the different types of questions that you can put into the review area where you're actually given a little test at the end of a chapter. So for instance this one here we've got a normal one where you've just got a question and you've got a number of different answers available. As you can see in this one, as I've got it set at the moment, there are two answers which are correct. So if I just click on this one here, that's selecting one answer to be correct. Pixelmator is as cheap as chips to buy. And if I want to have it so that this other answer here is another correct answer, then I just hold down Command while I click on that and it's done as well. So that's the first type of question there. And then let's have another one. Let's put in a multiple choice but with a picture. And this time basically what we've got is we've got a question there which is going to be something to do with this picture here. So I'll put in the question and some answers that are suitable to it. So in this example that I've created here basically we've got which is the best application for creating fancy logos and for different answers there that are available. And this is my opinion of course but Art Text 2 is there. And what I've done here is I've put in a large hint for the person who's answering these questions as to which one is probably going to be the correct answer. I've done another one here and this is a little bit different and I'm asking how many bat vehicles are in the image so you've got uh, the image as a reference there and the person has to look into the image and answer the question based upon that. So in this we've got the correct answer which is I think it's four because we've got the helicopter there we've got two bat cars and we've got a bat boat if you can see any more in there, you can let me know. So let's put in another question as well. Let's go down to this thing here. This is where we get our questions from. We've got our multiple choice. And let's create a question that is going to let us choose from four different images. So here is our question that's based upon pictures. We've got which is the logo for the Pixelmator application. And I've got this one here as the uh, correct one. All I've done to get these pictures in there is to drag them from the media bin over here and drag them and drop them into the various places on here. Oh there you go, I can change that. I'd like to be able to make it small in there but I don't seem to be able to do that. If I tap on that there I can see the image there and I can select that and if I hold down the shift key it should resize the image proportionally but it doesn't let me do that. I think this is a bug within the application. Same as before, you just uh, click on whichever one you want to be the correct answer and you're done. If you want to have more than one that's the correct answer, then hold down the command key and you've got it. So that is how to do a question where you've got a choice of four images. You can choose from a grid of how many images you want in there. So I could put other things in there if I wish. So there we go, we've got six in there now. So that's basically all you can do with that one there. You've got uh, images that you can choose from that has to be in the correct answer. Let's move on to the next one and we'll go to the drag label to target. So dragging the label to target, what we're going to do is we're going to have an image that we're going to put in there first of all and we're going to have uh, three labels in there so let's just change that from two to three. Label one is going to be picturesque for that one, pixel meter on that one, acorn on that one. And we'll put that over there and we'll have that there. What the person has to do with this one is to put the correct name to the application icon. So what I did with this is I created this image first of all in my bitmap editor and had it so that it goes into media and then I dragged it and dropped it into the space there. Obviously the thing to do is to get the picture the right size to fit into your space here. And let's move on to another and this time we're going to have a drag thumbnail to target. Now in this one here I've created another graphic and this time I'm going to just drag it and drop it in, same as before. And I'd like that picture to be a bit smaller. Now then to be able to get this picture so that it fitted in the area what I had to do was to take the size of this here, go into Pixelmator and get the proportions exactly the same regards the width and the length of this and then bring it in again and now have it fitting just right. It should have been possible for me to be able to change the size of the image so that somehow or other I could get it to fit and all show within the thing anyway but for some reason or other it wouldn't let me do it so maybe there's some workarounds there that I need to look into to see about getting that done. 
Okay, so let's uh, label up our things there. And this one's going to go over here. Now what I can do with this is I can move the uh, dot to wherever I want it to be. I can leave it so this is uh, underneath and it is possible to bring it around to the side if I wish. So what I might do with that is to have, have it set up like this. And that's all you need to do to get that working. So let's put the question up here. So all you have to do is to drag the labels to the right places. So that actually is fairly simple, isn't it? So there you go. Let's put one more question in there and see what we've got. We've got the drag thumbnail to target. So this time we're going to match up logos to the application. What I've got to do is drag this and drop it into there. Part text 2 is the other one I need for this. We've got three answers. So to match this up right we've got to have this one which goes with this here. We've got this one which is Pixelmator. Again you can drag the uh, positioning around of the actual image where it's going to land in there. These are just examples of questions. Obviously, it's going to be a bit more intelligent questions that you would ask with this, but still. So that there is to align the app logo with the app toolbox. And basically, in the iPad, what you're going to do is you're going to drag the icons from down below and put them in the right places on the picture. You can say that you want this to go full screen, so we've set that like that. So it's time to connect up the iPad and have a look and see how it looks on the actual application in the iPad itself. So let's have a look and see what we've got up there then. So here we are with the iPad and we've got the page that we're looking for which is reviewing questions there. So let's tap on that and it should go to full screen for us. And I can do my answering questions. So Photoshop is expensive. Pixelmator is cheap as chips. Those are my two right answers. Check answer. Perfect. Move on to the next one and for some reason or other the picture has not gone to the right place there. That's something I'll have to go back and do a bit of uh, editing with. Let's click on that one there and check answer. It's correct. How many bat vehicles are in the image and we'll click on four. Check answer. Oh, I'm doing very well in this test, aren't I? Which is the logo for the Pixelmator application. Click on that one over there. Check answer. Got that one right as well. Gosh, I'm a genius. Puts the correct name to the app icon. So on this one here, we have to drag the labels to the right places. So we're going to drag that over there. We're going to drag that over there. And we're going to drag this one over here. And again, this one hasn't come in quite right. I can't see all of my picture there. Move on to the next one. And what we've got here, we've got uh, Art Text 2. So drag that one over there. Drag that one over there, drag that one to there, check answer, and everything's correct again. I have successfully completed the review. Well done, David. Let's move back to this one again. As you can see, this thing with the pictures is not uh, just the best. It's um, making the image within that area here too large. And the same with this one here. I've got uh, parts of this image that are missing. And I went to extra lengths to try and make it so that it did fit within the space. I'll have to do some more testing and getting the images sorted out just right to put into these questions. Apart from that though, it has actually worked okay. So 